working at the coach house for such a long time and you know working with Kurt you know for a long time I, you know I know his, the style and I know what he wants and um, and keeping in the spirit of the coach house and you know when we closed before we closed down I said you know the coach house might be gone but the heart is still here and it still is and still gonna be the innovators for the city and it's been really fun you know this is a, it's a real fun to, restaurant to work in first kitchen that I really designed so it's really comfortable we can spend 16 hours a day in there and it doesn't feel like it so it's it's nice there's a lot more appetizers, a lot more shared plates. We're kind of, I don't say, I don't want to say shared plates, but you know that's gonna happen. But yeah, a lot more appetizers. Um, still have the some entrees. We have the classic stuff that we've kind of put a new spin on, and um, a couple more salads. And it's you know the price point's also lower, yeah. so people can come in and, and now we have a bar. We got a, five seats that you know later down the road when we get our footing and. Everything's going great. And then we're gonna start doing tasty menus and kind of just having fun, and just playing. So I mean, I'm a fat kid at heart. So there's some fat kid items on there, and then there's some feminine items. I mean, and you know, there's some ribs on there that I'm pretty proud of. Um, you know, there's some chicken wings. It's not your normal buffalo wild wing kind of thing, but you know, there's some chicken wings on there that a lot of time and energy has gone into. And you know, they just have one bone in them, so it's just you're not getting your hands messy and crazy or anything like that. So there's still gonna be some. No, there's care. <laughs> all of our ice creams will be made a la minute. Um, I got all, we we sous vide a lot, and it's just because I want accuracy, and you know I want things done a certain way, and the, and I have a lot of toys, and they're awesome. <laughs> and and it being an open kitchen, you know, now we have our. You know, when you first walk in and you see the rustic look and the wood and the dark tones, and then you look to your right and you see this really modern kitchen with everybody in there, <laughs> plugging away. But now we have a machine that we can make it, you know, X amount of orders, uh, and, it, and it actually cuts down on food waste. So a lot of this new stuff is all about cutting down on waste, cutting down on um, improper techniques. So it's, uh, it, it's fancy and it's fun and it's, but there's a, there's, there's a true purpose behind it. It's not just, just because I, I could, it's because I'm trying to maximize everything. We're doing, so we're making everything, it's just kind of like what we do at the coach house, I mean, at the coach house. So we're doing a bison burger, you know, making our brioche and everything is on top of it, all the layers of flavor. So there, there's a burger, you know, we've got a couple of salads. Um, there's, there's some vegetarian options on here, uh, pescatarian, and then down right to just meat eaters. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I mean, keeping in the, the, the flair of the, having a bar. So that's why I wanted to do chicken wings. I wanted to do ribs. I wanted to do um, the lamb chop. And then that's an appetizer now, rather than being an entree. So it's, you can order per chop rather than having, you know, a 52 to $60 entree in front of you. Now you can get a chop and get that. Yeah. That flavor that you wanted. We have our own kind of bourbon that mm -hmm. Kyle and Kurt have picked out. So yeah. we have, and our bourbon selection is stellar. Yeah. So, and we have some stuff that you can't get anywhere else in the city. 